The United Kingdom's Royal Navy has reached a new stage of combat readiness with the official introduction of the Sea Venom anti-ship missile into operational service. After years of development and integration testing, the missile is now cleared for frontline deployment aboard the Wildcat HMA-2 helicopter. This achievement, confirmed at the beginning of October 2025, signifies not only a major technological success for Britain's defence industry but also a critical enhancement of the country's naval strike capabilities in an increasingly contested maritime environment. The announcement came shortly after the completion of Operation Highmast, an eight-month deployment of a UK carrier strike group to the Indo-Pacific region, led by HMS Prince of Wales. The mission served as both a demonstration of British naval reach and a live proving ground for the Sea Venom system. Throughout the operation, Royal Navy Wildcats conducted intensive flight trials, testing the missile's integration, targeting systems, and combat readiness under real-world conditions. The outcome was clear, the Sea Venom had proven itself reliable, precise, and effective, ready to enter service as a standard weapon for the Wildcat fleet. Developed by MBDA under the Future Anti-Surface Guided Weapon, Heavy, program, the Sea Venom has been designed to meet the needs of modern naval warfare. As adversaries increasingly rely on fast attack craft, corvettes, and coastal defenses, the Royal Navy required a missile that could deliver accurate, high-impact strikes from a safe distance. The Sea Venom answers that call. Compact yet lethal, it weighs around 120 kilograms and measures 2.5 meters in length, carrying a 30 kilogram class semi-armor piercing warhead capable of devastating both surface vessels and land-based installations. It can engage targets beyond 20 kilometers while maintaining precision and operator control throughout the mission. What truly distinguishes the Sea Venom from previous generations of anti-ship weapons is its advanced guidance and control technology. The missile uses an uncooled imaging infrared seeker coupled with sophisticated image processing algorithms, enabling it to lock onto targets with remarkable accuracy even in complex coastal or cluttered environments. A secure two-way data link gives operators full control over the engagement, allowing them to switch targets, refine aim points, or abort missions mid-flight. This, human-in-the-loop, feature ensures compliance with strict rules of engagement, making the Sea Venom not only powerful but also responsible, a vital trait in modern, politically sensitive theaters of operation. Each Wildcat HMA-2 helicopter can carry up to four Sea Venom missiles, allowing for flexible mission configurations. A single helicopter can engage multiple small targets simultaneously or launch coordinated salvos against larger warships. This adaptability gives Royal Navy commanders new tactical options for both deterrence and engagement. The Sea Venom's precision also enables it to operate effectively in littoral zones, where distinguishing friend from foe and avoiding collateral damage is essential. Together, these qualities transform the Wildcat into a far more capable maritime strike platform, bridging the gap between lightweight surface attack and full-scale naval missile systems. The Wildcat itself is already a highly versatile aircraft. Designed for reconnaissance, surveillance, and attack operations, it plays a key role in protecting carrier strike groups, amphibious forces, and maritime trade routes. By pairing the Wildcat with the Sea Venom, the Royal Navy effectively multiplies its reach and lethality. While the lighter Martlet missile remains the primary weapon for engaging small boats or swarming threats, the Sea Venom provides a heavyweight punch capable of neutralizing corvettes, patrol ships, and coastal facilities. The combination of both systems gives the UK an agile, scalable response to a wide spectrum of maritime threats. Royal Navy leadership has celebrated the milestone as a symbol of growing self-reliance and modernized combat readiness. Commodore James Blackmore, commander of the UK Carrier Strike Group, described the achievement as a major step forward in ensuring that Britain's carrier force remains a world-class, combat-ready unit. He emphasized that the Sea Venom enhances the UK's ability to safeguard international sea lanes, reassure allies, and deter potential adversaries. In his words, the new capability strengthens our ability to deliver decisive air power at and from the sea.
Commander Andrew Henderson, who leads the Wildcat Maritime Force, noted that the integration of the Sea Venom represents a substantial increase in the fleet's offensive potential. Its precision, range, and versatility ensure that our frontline crews are equipped to meet the challenges of a multi-domain and complex environment, he said. According to Henderson, the missile not only extends the reach of Royal Navy helicopters but also allows them to conduct operations with a level of autonomy and confidence previously reserved for larger naval units. From a strategic perspective, the Sea Venom's entry into service could hardly be more timely. Global maritime tensions are rising, particularly in regions such as the South China Sea, the Arabian Gulf, and the North Atlantic. Nations are investing heavily in naval modernization, and anti-access-slash-area denial, A2-slash-AD, systems are becoming increasingly sophisticated. In such an environment, flexibility and precision are paramount. The Sea Venom provides the Royal Navy with both. Its relatively small size allows deployment from a wide range of vessels, while its advanced targeting capabilities make it a valuable tool for both deterrence and active engagement. The missile's operational debut during Operation Highmast also carries symbolic weight. The Indo-Pacific deployment was designed to reaffirm the UK's commitment to freedom of navigation and collective security, working alongside allies such as Japan, Australia, and the United States. The presence of Sea Venom-equipped Wildcats aboard HMS Prince of Wales sent a clear message, Britain's naval aviation is not only back on the global stage but equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry capable of defending shared interests far from home waters. From a technical standpoint, the Sea Venom's design draws on decades of missile development experience. Its lineage traces back to the earlier Sea Skua a successful but aging system that had served the Royal Navy since the 1980s. MBDA's engineers set out to replace it with a weapon that offered greater range, better precision, and improved adaptability. The result is a missile that operates at high subsonic speed, using stealthy flight characteristics and advanced seekers to overcome modern electronic countermeasures. It can perform complex flight profiles, skim low over the sea surface, and strike from unexpected angles, capabilities that significantly complicate an adversary's defensive planning. Another key advantage of the Sea Venom is its compatibility with NATO allies. The missile was jointly developed by the UK and France, with the French Navy planning to deploy it on its own helicopters such as the NH-90. This cooperation ensures interoperability between European maritime forces, reinforcing the transnational defense framework that underpins NATO operations. Shared logistics, training, and maintenance make the Sea Venom not only a powerful weapon but also a symbol of allied collaboration in maintaining maritime security. For Britain's defense industry, the Sea Venom's entry into service marks an important achievement. MBDA's role in developing and producing the missile underscores the UK's continued leadership in precision-guided weapons technology. The project has also provided valuable experience in system integration, data link security, and seeker development, all of which will feed into future British and European missile programs. In a broader sense, the Sea Venom reinforces the notion that Britain remains a key innovator and reliable partner within the Western defence ecosystem. Operationally, the missile's deployment opens new tactical possibilities. A single carrier strike group equipped with Sea Venom armed Wildcats can now conduct distributed, high precision attacks without relying solely on ship launched systems. This flexibility allows the Royal Navy to project power more efficiently, respond faster to emerging threats, and operate more effectively in dispersed maritime environments. In future conflicts, where speed, information, and precision will define success, such capabilities could prove decisive. The introduction of the Sea Venom missile is therefore more than just a technical upgrade, it represents a doctrinal shift in how the Royal Navy envisions maritime warfare. The combination of advanced helicopters, intelligent munitions, and carrier-based power projection gives Britain a balanced, modern, and highly adaptable naval force. It ensures that even in the face of evolving global threats, 
the Royal Navy retains its reputation as one of the most capable and forward-looking maritime forces in the world. As HMS Prince of Wales and her escort ships continue to operate globally, the Sea Venom stands as a clear symbol of British determination to maintain maritime superiority. From the cold waters of the North Atlantic to the crowded shipping lanes of the Indo-Pacific, Royal Navy air crews now possess the ability to strike with precision, discretion, and confidence. The Wildcat helicopter, already a trusted workhorse of naval aviation, has become, with the Sea Venom at its side, a true hunter of the seas.